Dennis Klingman. We're here in the Lincoln Electric uh, Distributor Training Lab, and we're going to cover uh, a topic today that uh, has been a very uh, uh, common topic asked to us at shows and um, at, at motorsport events around the country. Uh, probably one of the more uh, uh, popular processes today in motorsports is TIG welding. TIG welding does a great job as far as quality, as far as uh, being able to uh, see what you're doing, know what you have in the well before the well's completed. And if you have contaminants, allow you to uh, warm it up and see the contaminants, clean the contaminants out, and then add filler metal. Uh, that's a nice part about TIG welding. You can, you can do a great job and you got an opportunity to uh, clean the part or re-clean the part uh, before you add filler metal. It's a great process. But back to the equipment TIG welding. Some of the more common questions we have are about the torches, the part we use the most. Uh, the torch itself, this happens to be a nine torch. It's an air-cooled uh, small torch. Uh, the parts are very similar to the, the 17 size torch parts. But the big difference we're going to talk about today is when most torches come from the manufacturer, they have a standard collet body and a standard collet and a standard uh, uh, ceramic lens on the torch. Um, those are great for AC welding. They're great for TIG welding most things. But when you get into difficult uh, positions and difficult joints and TIG welding in motorsports, it's nice to have something that does a better job. And you can see the difference. We're here today at the motorsports, uh, advanced motorsports class at Lincoln. We'll be doing T-joints with chromoly tubing. We'll be doing Y-joints with chromoly tubing. That's a place gas lenses can, can help you. The gas lens is actually a part that does the same function as the standard part. It just does a little better. The standard front end of your torch used for TIG welding consists of a collet body, has holes in it for the gas to come out of, threads to thread it into your torch body, and threads to thread your ceramic cup over. The, the four ports on here that the gas comes out of, gas comes out of there kind of raw. It actually comes out of there uh, in pretty rough form. You can think of it as a faucet in your kitchen. If you took the diffuser off the end of your faucet in your kitchen and watched the water come out of there, that's how it comes out of the end of a standard collet body. If you look at a gas lens collet body, gas lens collet body, notice they're bigger in the front first of all. Same threads in the back to thread into your torch. Uh, bigger threads for your, for your ceramic cup but there's a screen in the front. And the screen in the front diffuses the gas, just like the diffuser in your kitchen sink faucet. When the, when the gas comes out of this, these four ports, it's kind of raw and it's kind of tumbling out of there and it doesn't, it doesn't um, I want to say shield as well. When the gas comes out of this screen, this stainless screen, it's diffused, it's fogged, it does a much better job of shielding. It also allows you to extend the tungsten out of your torch further and still have good shielding difficult with a standard collet body to extend your tungsten much more than a quarter inch outside your uh, ceramic cup and get good shielding. And in, we, get into T, we get into Y joints and K joints and chromoly tubing is a typical place we needed extended tungsten stick out. So that's where gas lenses play an important part. The gas lens goes into your torch just like the uh, collet body. You secure it to tighten it. The back cap, you remove your back cap. Your collet's the same collet that goes into the, uh, the standard uh, collet body. It's by diameter of your uh, tungsten. This happens to be a 3 32nd. Assemble it the same. Okay, and the ceramic cup that goes on the gas uh, lens collet body is a little larger in diameter at the base. The front end will be the same. We use the same numbering system for the front diameter of the opening as we do with standard ceramic cups. This happens to be a six cup. That means it's the, the inside diameter of this cup is six sixteenths of an inch or three eighths of an inch. The one I'm putting on happens to be a seven. So our opening in the in front is a seven sixteenths. Now, the cup, again, the threads are bigger than where it goes on the collet body, but the front opening uses the same numbering system as the standard ceramic cups. Now, with this gas lens on here, and you can see the screen inside, the, uh, inside here, with this on, where we have to get back into acute angles, 
less than 90 degree angles on, on joints, we need an extended stick out. We need maybe three quarters inch of a tungsten stick out. With that three quarter inch stick out, with a gas lens, we can get good shielding. It'll still shield the uh, tungsten, it'll still shield the weld. And if you'd like more information, you can go to lincolnelectric.com. Mm -hmm.